Save it and close it. Save and close. Now we're not going to record the invoices now, but let's just check out what would happen. I could open an invoice and when I'm going to my billing process and I could say, okay, I need to run one for customer number one, for example, and then we have the information pulling in. So I might take this information from the timesheets and then turn around and uh, invoice them. So that's one method I can do. I'm going to say, I'm not going to record it. Do you want to leave without saving? I do. Wait, I do want to leave without saving. And then I'm going to go down to the, to the, uh, to the sales area to look at my customers. And just to note that within the customers, you've got this items here that says unbilled activity. So you can sort that way. And that's going to give you all the information that has this unbilled stuff in it. By the way, if you're in the bookkeeping view, uh, then that would that customers are located under the get paid and paid area and then customers. So that's a pretty neat feature because then you can go into here and you've got those. There's the time. So the time hasn't yet done anything to the financial statements, no impact on the balance sheet and the income statement, but it's ready for us to then link to the invoice. So this is another one of those great features that are great for internal bookkeeping, which if you used, if you learned accounting from a textbook, you might not be as familiar with, right? Because it's not actually creating the financial statements, but it's quite useful uh, internally. You can also run reports for the, for the uh, unbilled time, but I would think that the easiest way to find it would be to go into the customers here and do your search for, for the unbilled time. And that can help you out. So when you, um, if you were doing a, a weekly or semi-weekly or monthly uh, billing process in a CPA firm or accounting firm, or in this case, in our guitar lesson projects, we would probably gather the timesheets together and kind of check those to what has been entered into the system with our, with our customers here and look for the, 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 the items that are, that are billable and tie that out to the timesheets and whatnot so that we could uh, then bill them or, or invoice them, which we'll do in a future presentation.